All right. Good evening, everybody. So this evening we are going to make honeycomb and lollipops. So let's crack on. I have put them in my week. Uh, there we go. So I'm going to start this one with the honeycomb and do lollipops in this one. So honeycomb, we've got all the ingredients there. So start cooking. So guarantee the success of sugar stages. We need to make sure that all of our ingredients are actually spot on. Um, unlike most of the other dishes where you can just um, chuck in or leave things out, with sugar stages, it's actually quite precise because they need the precise measurements for um, the reaction, the chemical reaction for the sugar. So we know that. So line a square cake tin. So I haven't actually done that. I have got my groovy um, honeycomb uh, bumblebee uh, thing, mold. I'm gonna use that today. Uh, and then sift a tablespoon of bicarb. So I find that the recipe tastes a little bicarby. So I actually, I'm actually put in just a little bit less than a tablespoon because um, I find that actually has a better result. Uh, so 300 grams of white sugar. I have pre-weighed. Three hundred. There we go. And then eighty grams of water. So basically, it's just sugar, water, honey, and then our bicarb at the end. So eighty eighty one grams. That's okay. Um, so you do have a couple of grams leeway, like it's not going to ha have a fit if you've got one or two grams over. So 20 grams of honey or golden syrup. Now, the key is to buy your honey from uh, Woolies or Coles. If you actually use your friend's honey, which is um, pure from their their own beehives, you actually find that it's too pure um, and you really need to shorten your cooking time. Otherwise it will burn um, because it's, it's, yeah, it's too good. So just buy your, every, all your everyday honey. Then we go without measuring cup for this one. Next, so 22 minutes. Max, and then here's our little symbol for sugar stages. So every mode that we have has a symbol. And this is our sugar stages symbol. And all we need to do is dial the um, silver dial, one click. You don't have to go all the way around. We just go like that. So we'll watch Lisa, it start up. Used... Yep. Sorry, have you used the golden syrup at all? I read um, in the tips today. Yeah. Yeah. Is it I, I, yeah. I wasn't as impressed. We use golden yeah. syrup and um, uh, not white sugar. It was either raw or brown sugar, and it wasn't wasn't anywhere near as good. Okay. It could have okay. been. It could have been the sugar. Um, so I haven't done it enough times to um, work out whether it was it's the seven. sugar or the golden syrup. Okay. Thanks for that. Yeah, no worries. All right, so we're heating up. We can see our little green colour going around the circle. And once it hits over 60, lights turn red, it turns red. Boom, there we go. So that's pretty quick. All right, so I'm going to move it over to our, our next Thermomix. <laughs> Sorry, one sec. There we go. And just waiting for that to turn on. And then we'll start our lollipops. So the lollipops themselves, I actually don't have the, um, pardon me. 
I don't have the, actually, can someone talk while I'm Hi, everyone. Um, so Lisa's going to, instead of making the lollipops, um, she's going to pour it um, onto a tray and uh, and then make shards out of it so um, so she can stick it on top of a cake. So there's so many different options that you can uh, do with these lollipops as well and uh, and probably different flavors that you can put in as well um so if you've got some different flavors uh lisa's going to be using uh lemon in hers today um but um from the queen's brand but you can also um there's a lot of um, essential oils out there that you can um have so if that's something that you normally uh, use in you know general um you could probably put a couple of dashes in to the mix and um yeah and have them flavored so i know you, yeah so yeah. here's the tray <laughs> okay so what i've done always when you're doing sugar stages put a um board wooden board underneath thank you words um, so I've got that for the um, honeycomb as well, because it does get super hot and you don't want to be ruining your kitchen bench. Okay. So 250 grams of granul granulated sugar. We wait as well. 70 grams of water. Eight. I'll just well, part of me. Sixty-nine. That'll do. Sorry, I've been talking all day. I've been fine. I'm back, tablespoon of glucose syrup. I've actually pre-measured it. So I don't need to fuss about. And I think you can get the glucose syrup in the um, cake <coughs> aisle. Yep, there's the yep. queen. Yeah, and then food coloring. I'm just gonna go yellow because we're gonna do a bit of lemon. Sorry, Claire, where did you say to get the um, glucose from? Uh, the glucose you'll find where the cakes and um, pancake mixes and all the colourings that are in the aisles at Coles and Woolworths. Okay, fine. Ah, thank you. You're welcome. And then I'm just going to put a little dash of lemon extract. Tiny little dash. So without measuring cup. Same thing. So this is only 10 minutes. So you could probably even use them as, you know, as you find little sweets, um, like your, your cough medicine ones as well, that um, has, you know, your different flavours in or, um, yeah, with your lemon, but... Um, the, yeah, it gives it a good flavour in, in the sweets. Has, has anyone else um, done any um, sugar stages um, yet in the TM6? Jenny, have you done stuff? I've only made the honeycomb um, and I was going to make the toffee one, but I haven't got to that yet. How, how do you go with the honeycomb? Um, I found it difficult to try and spread. I was trying to spread it in because I've got the honeycomb mould as well. Mm -hmm. You have to work fast, but to try and get a nice even top was a bit hard. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, it, get, it hardens quickly, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, I, actually, I've still got some in the cupboard and that would be at least probably three months old. It still tastes okay, though. It's in an airtight container because we don't eat a lot of honeycomb. <laughs> oh, wow. And I have tried dipping it in chocolate and it works. Oh, fabulous. 
don't need to buy um, crunchies or violet crumbles then. <laughs> Definitely not. Mm. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I have attempted once and uh, I have never, um, it's my first time of playing with sugar stages and so I was learning all the way. <laughs> it, um, but it was, yeah, it was good. So I have actually spilled water into my bicarb whilst I was coughing up a lung. So I am just going to do it again. Apologies tonight. Okay. All right, I might just put that in a small container. So it's one tablespoon and through a sieve. So I've just got a little baby one and a tablespoon. So when I say less than a tablespoon, you see like the silver edge there. Mm -hmm. um, and then shake it through. Do you want to just quickly do the um, <laughs> office clip? Yes, yes. Um, so our current office uh, for the um, TM6 is the $75 um, mix shop voucher, which is very, very good. And, um, and yeah, um, just trying to think what else, sorry. Um, so the 70 so can I was going to say you can actually tell your friends that if they purchase with the $75 um, gift card and then they have their delivery cooking experience. So if you have a delivery, um, you get 10% off of the mix shop. If you have a delivery cooking experience with two other people, you get 20% off. So if you add those two together, your gift card and your 20% off discount, you could actually get a bowl blade and lid for $225. So that's that's a that's a really good deal then. <laughs> it um so it pays to um have a delivery cooking experience um because not only do you get the um help and um start off with the TM6 and go through um, the safety features and uh, all that, um, yeah, all the modes and functions. Uh, you also get to get that 20% discount. So, um, so yeah, that's a, yeah, great, great saving, I think. And the extra bowl um, blade and lid is always handy to have when you forget to do a couple of things. <laughs> can't, can't live without my spare bowl blade and lid. Um, when I came back to Thermomix, um, I took two years off and I came back. And when you actually sell six machines in 60 days, your first 60 days, you get a spare bulb blade and lid for free. Um, so hubby was always asking me every day, how many have you sold now? How many have you sold now? We need six. Because he knows the, the value of the, um, of the uh, bulb blade and lid as well. So how's the honeycomb looking with let's have a look? It's bubbling away, everything's bubbling away, which is really good. Um apparently also the coffee there's a like a coffee lollies or coffee um uh, yes. What's that one? I'm more uh, I coffee for me is coffee. I drink my hot my coffee hot, um, so I don't um, like it. But I've heard really good things. Mm. I'll have a look for it. Yep. Uh, when you go on to um, the cookie do, it's just under coffee candy. Um, let's have a look. 
so yeah, so it's your glucose syrup, coffee, granules, and sugar, and some unsalted butter and salt. So um, so yeah, that's, that looks looks good. Uh, there's probably a few other things that you can make as well, um, but that's yeah for the coffee sweets. It's just coffee candy. That's nice. And also um, sugar stages you've got with caramel. Um, so the caramels, um, you then cut them up and you wrap them in baking paper. So I then um, suggest that you then put them in a container with a lid in the back of a cupboard because otherwise <laughs> they're gone like quick, really quick. Um, but they're beautiful, really beautiful. I might have to look into that. <laughs> yeah, if you just search um, caramels, it, it comes up and uh, and it has about 80 pieces um, for the serving size. Do you want to share your screen, Claire? Yes, I can. Here we go. there oh there we go you can see so uh i can go to caramels oops not caramel there i oh, believe that looks good too mm. come on spell clear okay so they come up straight away and these can be made in the uh, TM5 and 6. So it um, takes about three hours. I think it is um, three hours and 40 minutes to do. I'm just going to lock that's with in. with um, cooling, cooling down and stuff. Yes, yeah. They actually don't take that long, I don't think. Not long to make, no. Yeah. And um, let me sign in. And then the pre-clean afterwards, I think, as well, they add that to that time. Yeah. And that's something good with the, the sugar stages and definitely the honeycomb as well um, because if you're making it in a pot on the stove, um, you've got to then try and clean the, the, you know, the saucepan, whereas the thermomix part of the actual recipe is then adding the water and adding the vinegar um, and then setting it, doing the clean. And I was, I mean, I looked at my bowl when all the honeycomb came out um, and it was shocking <laughs> all on the sides, uh, doing the short clean and looked in the bowl and it was clean so it um it's fabulous that you can do that um it's really good so here yeah just shows you here prep time always handy on cookie do as well where you have the useful items so it tells you what you need and it also gives you tips and tricks as well. So different things that you can do. So, um, for example, for the caramels, then nuts can be added um, and you can make different sweets with that. Um, <coughs> Claire, are they chewy or are they like a hard toffee? Um, they are, they're not super, uh, they're not hard. Um, they're more, and of course, they're not super soft because you can cut them. Right. Um, right. But yeah, so they're not going to break your teeth, but they're not super gooey either. They're just delicious. Mm. You can find it hard to find hard toppies. I love them with a the passion. Oh, okay. And I just find them harder and harder every Christmas to find a hard, hard toffee to. Well, you can just, make your own this year. Yeah. I wonder if you put yes. them in the freezer with the hard gun recipe. Pad. Probably. Yeah, maybe yeah. put them in the freezer, yeah. Mm. There we go. That's something we can work towards. We can we we can look for a recipe that gives you a, a chewy hard toffee and, mm. and give them a go. Um, yeah. so, uh, so I've got 30 seconds left. 
So yep. I'm going to work really quickly. Sure, I'll stop okay. sharing. Yep, yep. Go. Um, and then I've still got seven minutes on the other. Um, so, oh, and to uh, reassure everybody, I don't have COVID. I just have a boring common cold. <laughs> um, which after a couple of years of not having one, it's quite the thing. Mm. Um, okay. Let's see how fast we can work. All right. So next. So carefully pour spoon circles. I'm not going to do that because I didn't want to cough all over people today. So I'm actually going to. so then once you're done the important thing is to scrape off the lip so that the um, lid can get back on to do you clean so that's it I've taken all that out then I'm going to get next Thousand grams of water. So I'm not quite sure what kind of cake I'm going to make to put fancy shards on, but that can be tomorrow's um, project. So it looks all right. And that, yeah, that is super hot. So death, definitely don't put it on your bench. I'll have to find a video. I went on a cruise with my mum a few years ago and one of the chefs was making these beautiful sugared butterflies. Oh, my Ooh. goodness gracious me. You'll have to become a master, Lisa, of these sugar butterflies. Yes. And I want to do that um, that one where they do the um, like on Master Chef, where they do the, um, the fine, like the, the fine, fine. Yeah. yes, <laughs> yes. You, you can to be able to do that. you can do that over a um, with chocolate as well, but over a, a small balloon. Ooh! So blow up idea. the balloon. Um, not that I've tried it, but I've seen it a few times. You blow, blow up the ah. balloon, not too big, but you 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 can drape. Obviously, might have to think of a bowl or something with the hot mixture. But yep. um, but yeah, I've seen chocolate so um soaked. You'd put mm. blow up the balloon. You would dip it in chocolate. You'd freeze it, and then you'd pop the balloon, and then pull that out, and then you've got like a chocolate bowl and things like that. Yeah. But I think you bottom of a um, yeah, like a shallow bowl. You could um, maybe pour over or something, and yeah. drizzle. So insert measuring cups. I've got a liter of water, fifty grams of vinegar. And then it's just going to clean it for me. So I just need to turn speed selected to start and it will decide how long. So it's just five minutes. Does it and do you have a question, Jenny or Sue? No, but I might have to give the caramels a, a go on the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll you'll have to let us know how you get on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I might be giving the caramels a go as well. They they they're definitely them, yummy. They yes. <laughs> But 
That'd be something different to put in my Christmas pampers because I usually make fudge and that sort of thing. So caramels might be a bit different this year. I watched um, another Zoom meeting last night and with the lollipop mixture, she coated uh, little mini toffee apples. Oh, what a great idea. Yeah. So, um, and then made the, um, the rest of it, she just put into little tiny, um, like, patty pan cases. And oh. She did suggest maybe spraying them first because if you all remember eating toffees when off the cake schools at school, the I was just cake that at school, the little things with hundreds and thousands on top. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she said maybe put the hundreds and thousands, spray the cases and put the hundreds and thousands in the bottom and then pour the um, mixture on. Oh, what mm. a clever idea. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because I've always definitely stick into the paper. But um, isn't that, that's great. Have you guys on Cookie Do, um, when you look up um, Christmas ideas or Christmas gifts, um, there's so there's so many there to choose from. And, um, yeah, and making jams and um, chutneys is, yes. yeah. I was going to have a look at that caramel one where you had the recipe, but if you scroll down, it's got do-it-yourself gift ideas, I think, is it, it, it came from that collection. So I might have to go and have a look at that. Yes, yeah, I can bring that up on my phone and have a quick read. Yes, it's um, from the United States, um, but it's, yeah, it's DIY gifts. So um, they've got quite a few um, to choose from. Uh, there's also a lot of spices as well that you can make um, that are gift ideas. Um, and this shows uh, vanilla bean syrup um, and uh, different chocolates, the chai tea powder that we made a few weeks back, um, and uh, yeah, Italian seasoning rubs um, and sweet and spice nuts as well that you can make. So there's quite yeah quite a few different ideas. Um, I'm just searching up gifts and, uh, yeah, there's there's lots of options of things that you can make. A lemon curd, I think, is always a favourite as well. All righty. We're back. Let's honeycomb it. Yay. <laughs> okay, so immediately add around the blades. Can everyone see that? Ooh, that looks good. Mm -hmm. So obviously around the blades so it doesn't sit on the knob. Then we get our... Spatula. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. Oh. So oh, that's, that's looking good as uh, Lisa's poured into the um, the bee mould um, that you can um, get on the mix shop if you like it. So um, like what Lisa said before, making sure that you um, don't have any of the ingredients on the top of the bowl um, so that it's easy to put the lid back on when you do pour the water in um, to give it a good clean. Right, so I wasn't quite able to, but I gave it a good shot. There we go. Um, and I've got a little bit left in there. Obviously, if I hadn't coughed up on them, Go. I think the mould is quite deceiving. You want to fill the whole thing up, but it's mainly, I think, next time I do it, I'll try and work around just a small section at a time or working yes. quickly, but not trying to fill the whole thing up. <laughs> mm. Maybe filling half of it up, working with half of the right. um, side, yeah. Right, so I'm just going to pour that in. 
Yeah, I think so. Because I've probably got maybe two thirds. Um, so yeah, I think I'd definitely pick a section next time. Mm. Um, and then you can actually just break them up into, into little pieces, which are very groovy. Uh, and then I do the same, litter of water, the vinegar, and do a clean. So this one, our clean has finished. So it's, good. it's cleaned everything, apart from there's one little bit of sugar just there. So that's pretty good. All right. And this one's uh, store in an airtight air container, same as the other one. Oh, all right. Um, any questions? No, I think you've done a great job considering you've got a bad cold, Lisa. <laughs> well oh done. Goodness. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I haven't talked nearly as much as that all day. <laughs> Good thing I I'm guess, the only one eating this. I guess also if you are using the honeycomb mould is to not fill it up to the top, is to sort of do it halfway so that they're all full. And then I wonder whether we could do a chocolate topping on top, mm. a bit like mm. our, my favourite um, sweet, you know, um, with the honeycomb and chocolate coating. Oh, yes. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, I reckon... If you were if you were calm and smooth, you could fill the whole thing to to about half, um, and then obviously let it cool and dry, um, and then and then do the chocolate. I can that'd be that'd be nice. Mm. I've that'd actually really dipped good. it in chocolate and it works well, but you've got to do it quite quickly. And I've got like a, I used to do a lot of chocolate making it like a little. Um, spoon but it's hollow it's the shape of a spoon so you ah. can do like brazil nuts and you put it in and the honeycomb into it and then it drips off anything that's um Ooh. still there excess and then put it onto a baking tray and you get a flat bottom nice nice yeah i might try and do something with that tomorrow cool all righty well thank you thank so much you. everybody thank Thanks you lisa along. Just putting up with me. Thanks, everyone. Um, if you have any suggestions for next week, please let us know. I'd love to try some stuff. The week's Anybody just come too quickly. <laughs> I know. I know. It's just zooming past. It's September, for goodness sake. Um, 